Is it the right time to buy or sell Google stock? Welcome back. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into Google. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, February 9, 2024. Now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Stay informed about any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since February 2, 2024, our system has identified Google as a potential investment opportunity, rating it as a buy candidate with a score of 4.45. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. We observed a gain of 4.65% in the stock's value. This implies an average daily return of 0.78% since it was designated as a buy candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a strong upward trend, indicating a potential rise in the near future. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 11.13% change over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from 5.42% to 16.26%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a predicted 47.69% change over the next year, with a potential return between 35.44% and 54.02%. This translates to a price range of $203.45 to $231.38 after 12 months. Today's update on Google brings good news, the stock had a green day on Friday. On the last trading day, the Google stock price increased by 2.04%, going from $147.22 to $150.22. This marks the seventh consecutive day of gains. While it's unusual for stocks to keep rising for so long, it's important to anticipate potential falls in the coming days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $147.43 and a high of $150.70, experiencing a 2.21% variation. Although the price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days, it remains down by minus 2.32% for this period. Notably, the trading volume also increased on the last day, which is a positive indicator. In total, approximately 4 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, resulting in a total of 22 million shares being bought and sold for around $3.28 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of Google stock was $155.20, while the lowest price was $88.86. Currently, the price is 3.21% or $4.98 below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 94.06% or $2,376.77 below the all-time high reached on June 11, 2021, when the price peaked at $2,526.99. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, January 25, 2024, Wedbush gave Google a sell grade with an upgrade action. On Wednesday, October 25, 2023, Needham gave Google a buy grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, July 26, 2023, Susquehanna gave Google a positive grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, July 26, 2023, KeyBank gave Google an overweight grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, May 24, 2023, JMP Securities gave Google a market outperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have unanimously given Google stock a strong buy rating. They have also rated the P-E ratio of the stock as strong buy, indicating its promising valuation. Additionally, the price to book ratio has been rated as strong buy by analysts. When it comes to return on investment, the stock has received an strong buy rating, further highlighting its potential for growth. Today, let's take a look at the signals for Google stock. The stock is showing positive signs as both the short and long-term moving averages indicate a buy signal. 
This suggests a favorable forecast for Google's stock. Additionally, the relationship between these two signals further supports a buy recommendation, as the short-term average is currently above the long-term average. In case of any downward corrections, the stock may find support at levels of $145.82 and $144.72. However, it's important to note that if the stock falls below these levels, it may trigger sell signals. On a positive note, the volume of trading is increasing alongside the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. Nevertheless, there are some negative signals that might affect the stock's short-term development. For instance, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, January 29, 2024, resulting in a decline of minus 2.98% so far. This suggests that the stock might experience further decline until a new bottom pivot is identified. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently indicating a sell signal. Today, we will explore some interesting signals that can help guide your investment decisions. First up is the moving average convergence divergence, which is currently indicating a sell signal. Next, we have the pivots, which generated a sell signal 10 days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger indicator flashed a buy signal 10 days ago. Looking at short-term moving averages, we can see a buy signal that occurred 4 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average also signaled a buy 7 days ago. Additionally, the relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 59 days ago. Now, let's zoom out and analyze the 12-month chart. The short moving average triggered a buy signal just 3 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average confirmed a buy signal 38 days ago. Furthermore, the relationship between the short and long moving averages signaled a buy 225 days ago. If you want to explore more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, we're going to talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Google. Google stock finds support from accumulated volume at $143.54. This means that when the stock reaches this level, there may be a buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction. It's always good to keep an eye on support levels like this. In terms of risk, Google stock has average movements during the day. With good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. This means that the stock is not extremely volatile, but it also has the potential for some fluctuations. Looking at the recent performance, we can see that in the last day, the stock moved $3.26 between the high and low, which is equivalent to a 2.21% change. So, on a daily basis, we can expect some movement in the stock's price. Over the past week, the stock has had an average daily volatility of 1.54%. This gives us an idea of how much the stock can fluctuate on a regular basis. It's important to keep this in mind when making trading decisions. Before we delve into the potential trading levels for Google, let's quickly discuss some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. Google's P-E ratio falls within the normal range, which is often observed in businesses with established track records or predictable revenues. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is expected to be released on April 23, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings report stand at $1.48. It's important to keep an eye on these figures, as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing some potential day trading levels for Google. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Google stands at $153.05. For those who do not currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before considering entering a position. However, if you already hold the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Google encounters its first support level at $143.54. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point, with the anticipation of a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Google has a strong buy rating. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On February 7, 2024, 
Bichai Sundar sold 11,109 shares of Class C capital stock. On February 7, 2024, Bichai Sundar sold 11,391 shares of Class C capital stock. On February 1, 2024, O'Toole Amy Thuner sold 660 shares of Class C capital stock. On January 30, 2024, Arnold Francis sold 230 shares of Class C capital stock. On January 25, 2024, O'Toole Amy Thurner sold 1,433 shares of Class C Google stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of minus 37.867. In total, insiders bought 339,687 shares and sold 750,920 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $143.35, which represents a decrease of 4.58%. This stock exhibits medium daily movements, meaning it carries a moderate level of risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal from a pivot top that was identified 9 days ago. Is Google stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several positive short-term signals and a generally favorable trend. This suggests that there may be a buying opportunity for Google stock in the near future. However, it's important to note that our systems have detected an overvaluation in the current price, based on the volatility and movements observed in the last trading day. Looking ahead to Monday, February 12th, we anticipate Google's stock to open lower by dash $0.772 and begin trading at $149.45. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Remember, StockInvest.us is a source of information and should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we'll be discussing our current view of this particular stock. We value your opinion so don't forget to comment below and share your thoughts. What target do you have in mind for this stock? Let us know. And if you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day. Regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.